Good morning, welcome to Morning Expresso. I am Charulata Biswas. Violent protests in Sri Lanka, Congress's upcoming Chintan Shivir and tennis sensation Carlos Alcaraz's drop shots. Here are the top reads from today's edition of the Indian Express. Let's look at the big story. Colombo has been a witness to terrorist bombings and assassinations but not to the scenes of violence that unfolded on Monday. Supporters of Prime Minister Mahinda Rajapakse began burning down the protesters' campsite at Gaul Face Green and assaulting them after he reluctantly stepped down from the position to pave way for an interim government. A ruling party MP was also killed in the violence. This will likely increase calls for Mahinda's brother and President Gotabaya Rajapaksa to also step down. Here are the stories you'll find only in Indian Express. A day after JNK Lieutenant Governor Manoj Sinha participated in prayers at the ruins of the 8th century Martin Sun Temple at Matan in Anantnag, the Archaeological Survey of India ASI on Monday expressed concern to the district administration over the event, sources told the Indian Express. The ASI, which is the custodian of the protected monument, deemed the incident as a violation of its rules in its communication to the administration but has not lodged a formal complaint, the sources said. A game of cat and mouse is on between one of the country's top 400 meter women athletes and dope testers after her sudden improvement in timings caught the attention of a global anti-doping watchdog. Testers from the independent body have not been able to trace the athlete and she has gone incommunicado, the Indian Express has learnt. Keen to track her down, they then travel to Mumbai and Haryana where her personal coach hails from but have had no luck so far in locating the athlete. Let's have a look at the front page. Claiming that it is fully cognizant of the various views being expressed on sedition law, the Centre on Monday told the Supreme Court that it has decided to re-examine and reconsider the provisions of Section 124A that deals with the offence and urged it to defer hearing on petitions challenging the constitutional validity of the law until such exercise is carried out before an appropriate forum. And a rocket-propelled grenade RPG was fired at the Punjab Police's intelligence headquarters in Mohali yesterday evening, triggering a blast at the site. There was no report of any injury caused by the attack. A wall of the building bore the maximum impact with shattered window panes strewn inside. Here are the must-reads. Shubhra Gupta writes about the zero sensitivity displayed by people when they realize her son has special needs. From being told to leave a restaurant because he was too noisy or have mothers take their children pointedly away in parks or being accosted by a random stranger, she has gone through the gamut. And with the Congress's three-day Chintan Shivar set to take place later this week, here's what may be on agenda. The party can revive the parliamentary board mechanism to make the decision-making process collective give a call for alignment to political parties to challenge the BJP in the 2024 Lok Sabha elections and take a strong stand against the politics of hatred. And the Uttar Pradesh government is planning to turn Ayodhya into a world-class model town ahead of the 2024 Lok Sabha elections. Among the string of projects planned are number one, widening of roads leading to the Ram Janmabhoomi site, Number two, installing CCTVs across the town and also fast-tracking the upcoming Maryada Purushottam Shri Ram International Airport. And the Hervad Gram Panchayat in Maharashtra's Kolapur district has passed a resolution banning rights associated with widowhood, such breaking bangles and social isolation. Sarpanch Shri Gonda Patil says the decision was taken keeping in mind the untimely deaths due to COVID-19 and the fate of such widows. Men as young as 25 years lost their lives and their wives were forced to observe customs associated with widowhood, he said. News from the sports world, Spanish teen sensation Carlos Alcaraz has made a habit of stunning world tennis's leading lights with his well-disguised delicate drop shots. At times when Alcaraz has decided to dramatically drop the pace of his stroke, even the game's best hustler, aka Nadal and the ultimate retriever, Red 
Djokovic have frozen on the baseline uncharacteristic ally giving up on the point. And in today's Delhi Confidential, in an unusual sight when Consumer Affairs Minister Piyush Goyal stood to speak at the National Workshop on Legal Metrology Act 2009, he read out a paragraph from Kautilya's Arthashastra to remind the central and state officials about their responsibility. That's a wrap for me today. For the latest updates, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, The Internet Express. Thank you so much for watching.